Hello, boys and girls, to another episode of Joysticking with George. With me, your host, George Jimenez, staff writer from BlueStockers.com, and today we are taking a look at Life is Strange from Don't Not Entertainment, published by Square Enix. Uh, we're going to play that here on the Xbox One today. Uh, this is a Heavy Rain-esque choose-your-own-adventure mixed in with some time travel. Apparently, I play a girl named Samantha who can manipulate time. So let's let's see what the hell that's about. I'm I'm digging the music. Very you know Pacific Northwest. Consequences of your game action will impact the past, future, and present. So choose rough isolate. Yeah. Okay. So it's very butterfly effect. Uh, I saw a little bit of this game over at uh, Comic Con last year when uh, Square Enix had an event, and I got to see kind of the game mechanics in action. Uh, looks kind of neat. Kind of curious uh, to see what this this time manipulation uh, used in other scenarios will be like, but. Uh, I'm excited, I was a big fan of the music and just the look of the game. Let's get cracking. This is uh, episode one of five, I believe. This is only five dollars. Or you can go buy Season Pass, but... I think like most of these games I like to start with episode one and then making that decision to pull the trigger later on. What's happening? The lighthouse is almost never Please a good idea. Alright, so let's go not to the lighthouse. Can I do that? Alright. Alright, fine. We'll go to the lighthouse. Go, go. I'm really digging the stylized look of the game. Oh, gamma. Now that is a neat looking storm. I feel like I may have caused that. And I feel like you should be reacting to that. Alright, alright, alright. Guess we'll get you the safety. Holy shit. There we go. That's the reaction I was looking for. Yeah, you know, time travel is very, it's very hot right now, especially with uh, Twelve Monkeys and and uh, Project Almanac movie. That was so surreal. Mm -hmm. called film Little Pieces of Time, but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. To shadow, from color oh. to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. <laughs> Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? He's so dreamy. I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. <sighs> You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This is my journal. Ah, oh, that's kind of neat. Sneaking my phone in class. Can I have some text messages to people? Oh, this is cool. Also, my name is Max, not Sam. He is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna take a selfie in middle Seriously, class. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular hmm. since the what year a cool 1800s. teacher. You can tell he's cool because he's got glasses and like a cool guy haircut. 
selfie and a beard, expression. obviously. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Whoa! Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Oh, I already now don't like her. Is stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean Can I process throw something at her? brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Hmm. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicks. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. What kind of high school Taylor, is this? Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. He's, he's really hard on her because he really cares. Or is having an affair. Oh. I'll take the skills. Victoria doesn't waste a second kiss. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, I see. She's she's the rich girl. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah, we should bring a gun to school. Let that show her. Oh, hello. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hey, Kate. Let's say Hi, stuff, Kate. Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Mm. Sure. This game already does not make me miss high school. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Ugh, uh, it's, it's mean girls written all over it. Hmm, this might make a cool shot. Yeah, that's a cool shot. All right, let's go talk about art and stuff. Hey, Victoria, is there a shove option? No, there is no shove option. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> That's cool kid lingo. Excuse me. Hey, Prof. Oh. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To the sad fact, if I was ever a teacher, I'd envision. probably be this guy. Like, now, taking photography like way too seriously. The courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Yeah, that's totally something I would say. Look at the picture. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Okay, no one should spend 20 grand on a camera, just saying. Yeah. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class <laughs> monitor. Can't wait to watch some more doc. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Foreshadowing much? Books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. All right. 
The decisive moment by her. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh. Is she reading minds? I'm serious time out in the bathroom. Is that what I need? Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Oh my god, life must suck being a just emotionally compromised teenage girl. Like she's so fucking shy. Alright. This is some hip music. Life is hard in high school pictures and stuff talking to Ethan and his cool me, guy his photos are very cool to Lisa's the press cuz she's got purple hair oh sorry Alyssa is always Kinda texting went away with the she moment doesn't hang out with a lot of people she doesn't have any friends Let's hear Dana's story. What's your story, Dana? Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Seriously? What, well, Justin? That's what's your deal? Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Oh, ceiling. That's it? You know nothing about Justin. This girl needs to be a little bit more social. Oh. Let's talk to Logan. Are you dreamy, Logan? Poor Daniel. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Oh, Logan's the bully. Daniel's the cool kid? Daniel, no. He's so nice. I wish I could... I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I don't... What's a Vortex Club? I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I kind of like being the sporadic mind of a teenager. I wish October would last forever. Yep, that is such a teenager thing to say. It looks like she's been gone for months. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the They should just call it a sugar machine. Ha <laughs> ha! That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Good thing I left my AK at home. Oh, I like you, Max. You're funny. Hey, what's up, Trevor? He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Yeah, seriously. Banner, yes, that is a banner. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. <laughs> Lame. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? Whoa. I guess we all should these days. Oh my god. No. Okay, I guess we'll go chill out in the bathroom. Hopefully she's not like a cutter or... A purger. Oh, hey, Zach. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. She's not going to elaborate what a Vortex There's Club Juliet is. Juliet my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Oh, okay, here we go. Can I go into the boys' room? I guess not. Just going to be uptight about that. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <laughs> Life is so hard. <laughs> now who would bother to write that crap? I was kind of that person in high school. I was kind of drew dumb silly faces and read, oh, 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 can I? Oh. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. <laughs> At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Yeah, I hit Victoria Chase too. This poster must drive people to have sex. <laughs> Lols. Oh, Kate. Do I need a tampon? I'm good to flow. Thanks. Gross. I saw it go in here and have a freak out. Or poop. Does she not poop in this game? Uh, 
Uh, let's use the mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. Oh, God. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? So I'm trying to figure out if this is essentially live journal of the game. But let's watch my face. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No, it was so good. Oh, a butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of a butterfly. Is that what's happening? Photo. I don't need to look. Just take a picture of... No, you son of a bitch. Stay there. Yeah. Oh. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just... Come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Very suspect behavior from Nathan. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. Oh, yeah. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. Yeah, it's like an episode of Grassy but intense. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you are. Whoa! Whoa! You oh, shit just got real. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Hella. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, no! Oh, okay, this is where my mutant power kicks in. Yeah, I'm like that. Oh. What the fuck? I'm like that X-Men. How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. Come here. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Can we rewind time again, please? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arvis? Okay. Oh, cool. Time magic. All right, hold on. So anybody? Do I gotta do the whole thing? Okay, I gotta hold it completely. I did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Okay, we're gonna let's go for it. All right. Anybody? Bueller. Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. So you feel like totally haunted by the. I'll take a I selfie. Took my selfie. Jefferson asked me a question. Yeah, and then we're gonna get it right. We're gonna look really smart. Again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photo. Crap, I don't remember. Hope you don't and Max, have to remember what that guy's name kid. was. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I see You know, for her? someone who just discovered the it's control time, she's handling it really well, I think. I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? 
Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Oh shit! Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me he after class, and I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Mm, still don't like her. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? People's faces. That works. Making them extremely. Retro I don't know. I feel sick, man. Life is so hard. Oh, oh I can go faster. All right. That saves me some time there. Well, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, time was fun. Please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh, I'm gonna say the uh, Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Genius. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yeah. <sighs> Definitely having a fair with the teacher. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapter. Still the same that stupid picture. So. And hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So, Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Yeah, Taylor, seriously. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yeah, she's she's an X-Men. Yes. Oh, wait, nope. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, wait, I was, yes. I was supposed to be doing something. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I thought this was the same conversation. I'd never again. let one of photography's future stars avoid... I can skip that. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yeah. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said Ugh. that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. God, this teacher's so pretentious. She's so me. Don't let me stop you. Uh, press back on if you want to do your previous action and... Uh, should I... Do I even care? This action represented by the man. Excuse so me. I can go the same nonsense Mr. again. Photography's. Oh. oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Do you have Snapchat? I have faith in you. Yeah. All right. Look at that. I'm, I'm looking good. Right on. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Move faster. I can't tell Ooh, anybody. Huh. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh, that janitor wasn't there. I can't talk to Samuel about this, even if he might believe me. What the hell was the bathroom? God damn it. I'm gonna get this person murdered. Anyone I can talk? Hey, Hayden, you, you seem like a dreamy dude. Why look at him? He can't help me. <laughs> Jesus, all right. Let's see how it is. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Aww. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Done. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open. Control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! That crap. For this... Going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would 
ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Oh! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. Just pulled a gun on a girl. That did not happen. This cannot be real. All right, leave scene to the I crime. I saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Can I rewind time again? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. Nice. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Whoa, dude. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Take that rent a cop with who's wearing makeup? Like it's a weird face he has. So are we not gonna tell an authority that that Nathan has a gun? Or Prescott, or whatever the hell his name was. Sup, Prince? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm gonna report Nathan. Dude's got a gun. Scumbag. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. I used my time magic Mr. to save Prescott, this girl's life. What's so hard? town's most distinguished family. Mm. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. Should we be having this conversation in the hallway? So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... Serious charge. Just ask him, hey dude, do you have a I gun? And then. The matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Good. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion mm, okay. later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Psh. Chump. Of course, this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Eh, well, I'm not. Oh wait, what am I doing? No, oh, 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 manipulating time is kind of weird. All right, so left triggers to go back. Did I get it? Am I okay with this? I don't know what's happening. Oh, migraine. So you look a little strip. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, <laughs> I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around Clearly here. Clearly you don't. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Whoa. Now get outside with the class. Please. It's gonna knock me out, dude? No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. For using the Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Fuck Nathan. Is that a thing? Can't make that go fast. There we go. Got that going fast. Nope. You look a little. I There. Done. 
Yeah. Try to do the right thing, and you find out the whole system's corrupt. God, high school is really hard. Kind of curious to see how long this episode is. Oh, well, uh, hello, Boppin. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hopefully get some more bitchin' acoustic guitar happening. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Yeah. Well, he's gonna put the gun away, so... It's a fountain, yes. Let's sit. I'm gonna hang out here and just... Think about life. And boys. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. Oh. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. All right, let's see. Check out the student body, see who can help me out here. Hey, Stella. Hey there, Stella. Give time magic. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? New Jersey. Yeah. Uh. She seemed nice. She's, she's a hometown girl, so I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Oh, okay, so we are in Screw Oregon. the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. There we go. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh, not so quiet, huh? Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. The missing girl. Well, I heard that from a good source. Interesting. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. Am I Rachel? I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like <laughs> Victoria. Not my kind of clip. Yeah. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That, that what kind of insane stories? I'd like to study this photo if you don't mind. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's look at my journal here. Where's Warren? Yeah, so I mean, don't ignore this message. Hey, Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Sorry, man. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be there shortly. I hope so. Who's this guy? Who's this clown? Warren. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Warren. She has a dorm? Yeah, it's up in my journal. Oh, I don't want to read any of this. It's a, it's a cool journal. I don't want this. Alright, what's happening here? The good background. Oh, this is kind of neat. I don't know who the big players are. Alright, alright, what am I doing? Alright. The athletic. Oh, do Oh, I was going the right way. Alright, so let me just. Do, 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 do. What's she looking at? What are you looking at? Alright, cool. Bitch. Hey, you're being bullied. Do you have a gun? What's up, Daniel? Oh. Hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Okay, um, yeah, sure, whatever. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. You just have to Funny be topless. You should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Dude. Yeah, what the hell happened to her? So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. That's dramatic. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Daniel, I got, okay. I got a funny feeling about you, Daniel. Why don't you start drawing me, even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a 
good substitute music. Smooth. Jerk. Oh, that's a good posture. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Oh, wait, don't I have to meet good. someone? Good. Oh, yeah, the kid's flying a drone. Well, that's. Best portrait ever. It's alright. That's gonna have consequences? Okay. Hey, you're one of the cool kids. Hey, Justin! Hey, are you Justin? No, you're not Justin. You're Justin. Hey, Justin! What's up, bro? Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? <laughs> you're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh. Okay, you wanna be a dick about that? Show you fucking nose dab and trade for the whatever the hell are you. Alright, oh wait, how far back do I go? Alright, hold on. No, this makes sense. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Do a tray flip, dude. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> awesome. Definitely not rewinding time. You can watch us destroy these rails. Nah, I'm gonna pass. You guys look kind of date rapey. Perfect. <laughs> I think, you know, she's using all her time magic for pretty much all the same things I would do. Basically make myself look cooler. Ooh, graffiti. It's alright, let's take some pictures of graffiti. Clever. I don't know who the Vortex is. Hi Luke, you you seem brooding and pensive. Uh, What's wrong? Hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Whoa. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own black Ooh, let's read some rumors. He owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? Yeah. I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to black. Yeah, all right, I'm a hero. I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later. Cool? Yeah, all right. I like being a cool kid. Hey, what's up, Ethan? You got that cool guy here. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? This guy's a douche. I, I, I don't know. Eugene Smith? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Whoa, what a dick. Alright, I guess we'll rewind because it's important to him. Hey, hey Evan. douche. Let's see if you're worthy. Uh, I, I don't know. Steve McCurry. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the Falling Soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. All right, you douche. Let's try that again. Nope. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're work. Robert Cap. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. Mm. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? <sighs> it's not a privilege I grant to many. I already hate this guy. I I'd take back honest. a compliment about your cool guy here. Let me look through. I guess it's all, like, naked selfies and... Oh. Isn't that it? I pretended to know history to look at that garbage. 
Alright, let's get the hell out of here. The dorms! Alright, let's go to the dormitories. So, let's do another couple minutes, uh, see where we're, we'll leave off here. Kind of want to see a murder happen or something. Oh, we did, technically, which I prevented with my new cool yeah. mutant time magic. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flat. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Hello, Logan, you're a no, dick. Bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Oh, I wanna hurt you. Can we Can I mess with him somehow? No. No. I wanna fuck with that bully. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh, I wanna hurt these guys. Alright, let's figure it out. Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Oh boy. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go fuck myself, then. Hey, Sam. Howdy, Sam. What's poppin'? Well, hello there. Oh, boy. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Sweet. Uh, I guess. Duh. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. I don't. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. I feel like, like this that. guy would have a collection Positive of all the female animated. students' hair in the locker somewhere. Awesome. I'm gonna. See you later, Sam. I'm gonna not and ever you speak step to you. Around here, Max. After I sweep. Okay. That really freaked me out. Guys, you should not sit on the scaffold. What is wrong with you? Oh, well, hold on. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Hmm. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Oh, man. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh. oh, I see what's gonna happen. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Okay, that was kind of funny. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. All right, let's... So it looks like I've got a puzzle. Well, and, uh, your intro owes me money to pay up, bitch. Are you not... Okay, so you're not gonna talk to me? Hmm. No! Can we... how am I gonna... oh, here we go. Just gonna sneak in here. I don't know what that is. Just, uh, I guess a sprinkler, maybe? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Ah. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. No. You're gonna fall, aren't someone's gonna Do fall. Do you understand English? Get none shall pass. Capiche? Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, come on, bro. Come on. Sweet. Dude, throw a football at her. All right. Maybe I could still mess with the sprinkler again. No, not that. Okay, there's nothing in here I can use. Kind of wish. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Hmm. 
Can I... Okay, there's a butterfly here. That means something, right? Let's try that again. Can I stop time there? No, wait. Hmm. Come on, I could figure this out. Alright, he's going up there. He's gonna go do whatever that is. Kind of wish I knew what else I can manipulate here. Nothing here. Alright, how am I gonna get her to pass? Can I a totem pole or anything? Alright, no, there's nothing here I need. Alright, so I got her to move. Can I... Hmm. Goddamn college puzzles. By the way. Oh, okay. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Alright, I'll take a hint. Alright, so that pink bucket, obviously, is something. Okay, so I just rewound all that crap. So can I... Ah! So I can tamper with it. Okay, let's see if this works. Well, can I push time forward again? Or is this all... So I'm probably gonna get Samuel fired, but you know what? He probably has a girl in his basement, so... I'm totally okay with this. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Cashmere, cashmere sucks. Alright. Oh yeah. Pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. Perfect. We'll be right back. I... So move your ass before I dry. I'd love it me worked. some good. Don't mess with Max, bitches. I'd love me some good high school revenge. Uh hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's make fun of that bitch. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Ha ha ha. Yes. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Whatever. She kind of had it coming. Uh, Alright, so you know what? We're going to call it here. Uh, this was Life is Strange. It's uh, out now on the Xbox One and PS4, and it might be out on PC. I'd have Victoria to double check on that. To we took so long. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, looking good so far. Kind of. Uh, the time manipulation seems like it could be really neat. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Stomping Bigfoots. Uh, but yeah, it seems uh, episode one so far, I think it probably seems like I'm almost done with this. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm probably going to end up finishing out this episode. But uh, yeah, this was uh, another episode of Joysticking with George. And uh, just in case you forget, life, life is strange. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Yes. Oh, because the episode title is Chrysalis and she breaks out of her that thing and becomes a butterfly or whatever. And the butterfly... F oh my god, it's all making sense. I am a smart gamer. Oh, mom sent me a text. So yeah, we're going to end on that, on the um, mom text. So, uh... Whoa! Principal said I was a liar? Oh, okay. 
there was some vengeful time mutant magic happening later on. Uh, but for now, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, let's control time. Alright, sorry. Bye, guys.